In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor on this Honda Civic. This will be located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we have to do, safely raise and support the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. I like to have the suspension hanging. Once you've completed that, we're going to remove all five of these lug nuts using a 19 millimeter so we can remove the wheel. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, let's have a look along the back side here. Just above where your outer tie rod end is, you're going to find your ABS wheel speed sensor mounting point. This is held in place with a 10 millimeter mounting bolt. We can start removing that bolt. Let's be careful not to break it off in the steering knuckle. Continuing on, you wanna take hold of the ABS wheel speed sensor and we wanna give it a little wiggle, lifting it up and out of position. If it feels like it's binding in any way, you can try to use some penetrant and some pliers, give it a slight twist and lift it up and out. Double check to make sure it doesn't look like it's broken off inside of the knuckle. If it is, that's going to need to be dealt with. This looks fine, so let's continue on along the front side of the steering knuckle next. In this area, we can see an attachment point for our ABS wheel speed sensor wire. So we're just going to go ahead and squeeze on the ears on the inboard side there, and that pops out of place. This one should be about the same. It's pretty much already broken, so we're not really too worried about that. We're replacing it anyways. Let's make our way up to the next one here. Once again, squeezable ears along the back side. I'm just going to try to pop this up and out of place while squeezing on those ears. This may break. There we are. Now, if you were to follow the ABS wheel speed sensor wiring, you're going to find it makes its way behind here. You can disconnect it without removing this, but it's easiest if you just remove one push clip up along here. To remove the push pin, I'm just going to use a trim tool here. You can also use a flat blade screwdriver. Start by removing the center to unlock it. You should be able to remove the outer portion as well. Let's pry that out of place. Now that we have this pulled away, we can see where our ABS wheel speed sensor makes its way up and behind the body of the vehicle. There should be a small clip up in here. It looks like ours is broken. It has a locking tab. Just go ahead and squeeze that in. It should want to pull away. If yours does not pull away, you can use a small pocket screwdriver in this area to gently pry it away and then just go ahead and separate it. A quick inspection for corrosion. This is very important. That looks good. Let's set that aside. Now, since our plastic connector was broken, let's just go ahead and get that out of there. Use my trim tool. It's hard to see, but I'm just going to make my way underneath, separate it. There we are. A little bit more under there, of course. That looks good. Remove the ABS wheel speed sensor. Okay, friend, let's get ready to install our brand new ABS wheel speed sensor. When installing this, it's a good idea to start with the sensing agent all the way at the end that goes into the steering knuckle. Let's take this and carefully place it into the port on the steering knuckle. Slide it into position, align your mounting bolt port. Start in that mounting bolt, we'll snug it up. The torque for this is seven foot pounds. Now continuing from here, let's take that speed sensor wiring harness and we'll bring it underneath our brake flex hose across the top of our steering knuckle. All the way on the front of the strut is our next point. Let's get this in right here. Press that in. Now we're going to take this. We have to make sure we have it in the proper orientation. It should make its way up, swoop down. Let's get this next one in here. Line it up, press it in. That one's a tight fit. It's a good sign, you don't want it to be loose. This should make its way right into the body right here. Press that in as well. Let's plug in our ABS wheel speed sensor here. Press it in, listen for a click from that. We'll just give it a tug, making sure it's secured. Now we can secure this behind the body of the vehicle. Press it in, make sure everything's secure so this does not fall down and potentially get damaged. Let's install our plastic cover in this area. 
For your push pin, you want to try pushing in the outer portion first and then lock it in with the center. Double check, make sure that's secure. One last quick inspection in this area and we can reinstall our wheel. Once you have your wheel in place, start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom them out. Get the wheel safely on the ground and torque each of these to 80 foot pounds. Now we've got the wheel back on the ground, we're going to torque these to that 80 foot pounds in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our ABS wheel speed sensor. The next thing you need to do is hop in the passenger compartment, start it up, take your vehicle for a road test to make sure you have no ABS light and no odd noises. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.